Hello and welcome to this new video. We discussed about the repository pattern in a previous video. Today, let's see yet another useful design pattern and I'm talking about the facade design pattern. Let's first define what this uh, facade pattern is and uh, it is really simple to grasp. At its core, it is a structural uh, pattern that provides a simple interface to a complex system. It acts as a wrapper over a set of functions, providing a simplified and unified way of accessing these functions. Let's see this in action. So I have here a Swift UI view that is going to fetch some tweets over the network and uh, do some operation on uh, those tweets fetched. So we can see here that uh, we have uh, three dependencies for this view. Right, and uh, I guess that uh, we we are doing some uh, computation uh, with, using this view, and uh, let's see that. So as you can see, um, when this view appear, we perform a task that is going to uh, fetch the tweets from a remote uh, data source. Once those are uh, fetched, it is going to transform them into a tweet object. Uh, once transformed, those tweets are saved into a local data source. And uh, after that, this analytics is going to uh, log that activity. And uh, we mutate these tweets in order to re-render that view. And uh, if we encounter an error in this process, we are just going to load the tweets from uh, the local data source and uh, mutate this tweet tweets array. I think that uh, many of you have already uh, spot a lot of problems here. So the first one is that uh, this view, this content view is uh, far from being dumb because it knows a lot about uh, our system. Look at uh, this uh, initializer. So we have uh, several dependencies for this view. And uh, second, we are doing some custom logic here. Uh, in the, inside this view, which is not uh, ideal. Uh, this is not the responsibility of this view. A view should just render some uh, data or emit events about uh, something happening due to uh, user interaction, for instance. So leaving uh, this here uh, can make our code uh, difficult to understand and uh, maintain in the long run. And uh, this is where the facade pattern can help us. Right, so we are going to create a class that acts as a facade to uh, all of uh, these dependencies, and it will provide a unified interface to all of the function, making uh, it easier to use and understand. Right, so I'm going to uh, create here a class called uh, Treat Facade. And inside, I'm going to uh, move all this logic, right? Inside the tweet facade, right here, okay? And provide a single endpoint uh, in order for my view to, uh, to call. Let me just create that endpoint, and I'm going to call it, okay? I'm going to call it fetch tweets. Don't forget to add the main actor. Now, let's just uh, take this logic and put it inside this method, fetch a tweet method. Let's see. Okay, so here uh, we don't have this tweet object. We are just going to return the tweets like so and do the same here. Okay, do we have any other errors? I don't think so. So here now in the content view, I'm just going to uh, add this facade as a dependency, right? Or I'm just going to call it facade and initialize it here. All right, so uh, now that I have this, uh, I have injected this facade into the content view, I can actually call it uh, with its single endpoint. So I'm going 
to delete this and uh, call this task modifier by Swift UI, and I'm just going to do something like this: self dot tweets equal await facade dot fetch tweet, and that's it. So let's build and run to see if uh, we get any errors, and we do. Yeah, so I think that uh, it is as uh, entry point of the app. I'm just going to delete that, right? And for the facade, it is tweet facade. Let's build and run to see if we get any errors. Nope. And uh, yes. So let's run the app now. Okay, and uh, it doesn't show anything. So, uh, but... In the console, we have uh, this message that comes from uh, this um, this analytics, right? Right here. So, uh, so yeah, uh, we see that uh, the app is working as expected, and that's it. So, as we see, this uh, facade pattern uh, provides a simplified and unified uh, interface to a complex system, right? making our code uh, easier to understand and uh, and maintain. Look how uh, this is uh, really clean compared to uh, what we have uh, previously. So by creating a single class that acts as a facade to multiple classes, we can uh, reduce uh, drastically uh, the complexity of our code and uh, it make it, uh, as I said, really easy to uh, understand and uh, to navigate. But uh, when using this uh, pattern, make sure that uh, you don't create a god facade that knows about every class in your app. But other than that, I think that uh, we can see how this uh, pattern can play an important role in making our code um, really organized and uh, readable and uh, maintainable. So let me know in the comments uh, section down below which design pattern you want me to cover next as always don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel it encouraged me to uh, create more of this and as always i'll see you in the next one bye